Okay, let's take a look at our new version of Logo with our parameterized commands for forward and right turn. I've opened App Inventor with the Logo 2 template and saved my project as Logo 2. So we're going to have to replace uh, this with some drawing commands. But before we do that, let's take a look at our forward procedure. It now contains this parameter pixels. And notice where it occurs in the algorithm. This used to be the value 10 which meant that in the previous version, forward could only go forward by 10 pixels. Now, it will go forward by however many pixels we specify when we call the procedure. And when we call the procedure, we call it with a block that looks like this, that has a slot in it. So if I put 100 in here, it will call forward and tell it to go forward by 100 pixels. Let's try that by putting it in our button draw click handler. And now when I go over here and click the draw button, it draws a line of length 100. Similarly, the turn command has been modified to now include a parameter. In the previous version, this was the value 90, so it could only turn by 90 degrees. But now, I can pass in however many degrees I want it to turn. So, for example, uh, when I call this procedure, with this type of block, I can specify the number of degrees to turn. So let me turn by 60 degrees. And if I put that inside draw, well, we won't really be able to see anything unless we also go forward after turning. So let's do that. Forward 100, turn by 60 degrees, and go forward by 100. So if I reset and click the draw button, you see I get a shape where there's a turn of 60 degrees. So that's the type of thing we're going to be able to do with our new forward and turn commands. So let me collapse those and put them away for now. Let's see how we can use the same principle, this idea of parameterizing our procedures to make our, our life easier as programmers. What would we have to do to draw a square of side 100? Well, we would have to repeat, and we're going to use our for each number loop from 1 to 4, we're going to have to repeat four times, moving forward by 100 and then turning by 90 degrees. So we can do the same thing we were doing before, only much more economically. And let me hide the turtle after I finish that loop just to be able to see the shape better. So now when I go over and reset and draw, it draws a square of side 100. Okay, so instead of doing the algorithm right in the button draw dot click handler, let's make this into a procedure. So let's put this in a procedure definition block. So, and I'm going to call my procedure to draw square, and and I'm going to call it from the button draw dot click handler, draw square, and then hide turtle. If I reset and then draw, I get a square with sides of 100 pixels. But that's not a very useful procedure, is it? It only draws squares of side 100. Let's use the principle of parameterization and give it a parameter that lets us define the length of the side when we call the procedure. I'm going to add a parameter to that by using this little blue widget here. It lets me add one or more parameters, and it names them with some default names for us. I only want one in this case. And I want to give it my own name so I know what it means. I'm going to give it the name L. And then instead of going forward by 100, I'm going to just go forward by whatever value L is. So I'm going to take this out of here. I'm going to put the I'm going to use the getter to get the value of L and plug that in there. So now when I draw a square, I can draw a square with a length of any side. And notice what happened when I modified the procedure definition. App Inventor automatically opened up a slot for plugging in a value when we call the procedure. So let me plug in the value 100 here so that we'll get a square of exactly the same size as we had before, but we'll do it in a different, more economical way. Okay, so now when I reset and choose draw, I get my square of side 100. But notice I can make a square of any side. So if I copy and paste this and draw a square with side 75 after the 100, reset draw, I get a square within a square. So what we've done here is we've made our procedure much more general uh, and much more useful. And we can now use one procedure to draw squares of any 
size. One of the, one other thing I want to show you about App Inventor that's important as we're learning to program is it's it's important to document our code by placing comments in the code. And this is something all programmers do to make their code easier to understand for themselves as well as others. To add a comment to a, a block, in this case I'm going to add a comment to the draw square procedure block, I right click on it and it brings up this little menu and I click add comment and notice it added this little blue question mark widget to the block. To add a comment to that block I simply click on the question mark and now I can type in this little editor. So the draw square L procedure draws a square with sides of length L pixels. So this gives a nice concise description of what this procedure does. And once I put in the comment I can hide it by clicking the question mark icon. More and more in the course we're going to start asking you to add comments to your procedure definitions and to other parts of your code such as complicated algorithms. Okay, so I'm going to leave it here now and let you work on some shapes where you're going to be asked to define procedures with parameters. And I hope you're going to see that parameterizing procedures in this way makes it a lot easier to define certain shapes, some that we were completely unable to define in the previous version of Logo. Okay, so have fun.